Welcome to the Get Visibility Overview of the Software Platform. This is the first video in a series where we will look at the features and the capabilities of the software. Get Visibility has been created as a platform to address a growing problem with unstructured document data. Unstructured documents will include familiar forms of documents such as PDFs, documents from Microsoft Office, Smart Office, other office automation tools. They can also include spreadsheets. They can include source code. Very importantly, they can also include XML files, log files, any documents that contain text. Remember, this may also include emails and email attachments. The problem with this type of data is that it tends to accumulate and grow over time in organizations to the point where there is potentially millions of files and they are not very closely tracked. These lead to a large risk. Those documents might contain intellectual property. They might contain information about customers or employees. This information, be it intellectual property that can lead to data leaks or data loss, or information about customers or employees that can lead to non-compliance on data protection regulations such as GDPR, means that it's important to keep track of these documents now more so than ever. This software is built to allow you to identify where the risky areas are, where the documents are that need to be looked at, where you need to possibly archive documents, encrypt documents, or move them into more protected folders that fewer staff members have access to. This is a common problem. For many years it has been approached by using scanning software that uses regular expressions looking for particular patterns, or software that uses dictionary lookup and dictionaries that are constructed of important keywords. These tend to be more fragile than the approach we have taken. The approach we have taken is to use natural language processing and machine learning. This is flexible, it learns over time with minimal input from your staff and reduces the total cost of ownership significantly. The system is also ready out of the box. You don't have to spend much time getting set up. We can start scanning within a few hours of being installed and immediately start highlighting the areas of risk for you. This next screen shows the dashboard of the software in operation. It's showing a large number of files that have been discovered in the top left hand corner. It's showing files that have been classified and the classification is a crucial step in identifying where the risky data is. Classification is a complex problem and our software uses natural language processing and machine learning to be able to apply tags from a wide set of tags. These tags have to be accurate because if you have accurate classification, the remediation and the risk calculation can be calculated. Without accurate classification, it's possible to be not looking at the correct data or protecting the incorrect data. We also show some integrations here with the Palo Alto firewall, which will allow us to block data at the perimeter. And we can also integrate to security incident event management platforms such as QRadar from IBM or others such as Splunk. This allows our software to send alerts into your network operations center so that you can immediately respond to that. To consider the classification tags, this is the set of classification tags as it stands out of the box. It's customizable. Our software will apply this set of tags to any document that it finds. The documents will be rated and classified according to categories and subcategories. You can also see PII flags. The presence of PII, personally identifiable information, might modify the sensitivity of a document in an important way, so it's included. If you also have Microsoft's Azure Information Protection software, or you're moving to it or considering moving to it, 
then our software can assist you by mapping our tags to the AIP tags. This is an example on the screen at the moment of the mapping from our tags to the AIP tag set. This is useful in a number of cases, but the most common is that you have a large repository of documents that you need to import into AIP. It's a very difficult task to do manually, but our software can do it automatically, and using our classification neural network, we're able to apply your AIP tags automatically. It's possible for you to review those afterwards, but this helps you to go through large amounts of documents very quickly. The other situation that it's useful in is if documents are already tagged, our software can verify that the tags are actually correct and can alert you if there are incorrect AIP tags found on documents, especially if those documents are underprotected. This is crucial and closes another loophole, another possible vector for data loss. Back to the dashboard, an additional thing that we have got in our software is the ability to find duplicate files. You can see there's a duplicate file count shown. This is very useful for archiving and for, for finding areas in the data network that contain duplicates which are unnecessary. We're also working on real-time interaction with sensitive files and this is shown in the sensitive files activity graph. This information is sent to our software from audit logs and we can track modifications, and reads and writes to sensitive files. Over time this allows us to build a baseline of normal activity. We're able to then flag incidents with anomaly detection providing a graph of active incidents as you can see at the bottom. This integration to Active Directory allows us to display a, a set of data like this which shows the file the classification we have applied, AIP tags if present, and calculate a risk. There's now a risk column available here, which will allow you to highlight and to focus on the problem areas in your network very quickly. We also show some other metadata that is useful, such as last open date, which allows you to archive data that is beyond a certain age or is stale. You can also drill into the actual permissions on a file, by clicking on the Show Permissions link. This screen shows you the view of a file selected and the rights on the right-hand side, which include group access rights, individual user access rights, or combinations of those. It's unusual to see users with direct access to files, but you can see them in this view. It's possible for you to view the files that are visible to a specific Active Directory user as well, which may be very enlightening, and be able to highlight areas where users have got explicit access, which should usually be controlled by groups. Groups would be the best practice. It's possible to, for you to use this information to do cleanups in your Active Directory. Using the information about the users, it's also possible for us to display the top powerful users in your system, or the users that have got access to the most files. This data is often used to find accounts that are very powerful, they have domain admin rights, but they are not actively used and they should be disabled. This is very important. Another feature that we are working on is an agent software deployment. Agents are lightweight software deployments that will be installed on end-user devices such as PCs and laptops. These agents will be looking and reporting on the files found on these endpoint devices. This opens the scope of our Get Visibility platform to be able to do anomaly detection and risk calculation across endpoint devices as well as file shares. We already include cloud services such as SharePoint, OneDrive, Office 365, AWS S3, Dropbox, Google Drive, and file shares mapped from Windows file shares or file servers. And now by the addition of these agents, we are able to provide a much more comprehensive view of the documents that are on your network. This is your data footprint. You need to be aware of where the sensitive files are, and we're able to show you where those are. This is an unprecedented view 
of your data that you are not able to get by looking at individual file shares. By having anomaly detection across all of these devices, we are able to detect malicious or accidental leakage and loss of data. Please contact us for further information or to arrange a pilot scan of your data. We will run the scan within your corporate network and we will produce a report for you that shows you the areas that you need to focus any attention on. We will show you duplicates, we can show you stale data, we can show you the highest sensitive data that you have based on the classification tags. We can also show you the highlights of the risk areas that you need to address. Contact us on info at getvisibility.com or come back to our website to view follow-on videos. Thank you.